Bob Kafaro here. Welcome to another one of my cooking videos. Actually, this is not a cooking video. This is a food preservation video. And what I'm going to do now is, uh, unfortunately, the Collingswood Farmer's Market came to an end. So I have to get greens from the grocery store now instead of the farmer's market. But uh, what we picked up yesterday was organic super greens from BJ's Wholesale Club. And you can see this in here is a mix of spinach, chard, kale, and arugula. And Dr. Terry Walls said you should eat, what is, I think it's something like five or even nine cups of vegetables per day of greens. So that's a good rule to follow. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try something new so I don't end up throwing out the last of unused greens after a few days. I'm going to try to preserve the whole thing in something new. And these are vacuum sealed containers that go with a food saver. And I came about these on one of my miracles in life, which is Craigslist. Uh, I found a woman on Craigslist moving to Florida and she sold me her whole collection of vacuum sealable containers. Uh, I needed a food saver that would be compatible with this, so I picked this up two days ago on Craigslist. It's a really perfect unit with the exact attachment for these containers, and I got this for $15. So this is terrific here. And in an upcoming video, I'm going to talk about all the things I bought on Craigslist. And if you want to stretch your your money in life, it's like having a 100% raise. I've purchased everything from my car, my cello case, my food saver, uh, the heating stoves, the freestanding gas stoves to my house, my stereo system, everything I've bought on Craigslist. So that'll be an upcoming video. But right now, let's start preserving some greens here. So I've never done this before, and I'm not sure how it's going to work. So you can see these greens, how good that looks. So. Teresa, my wife, told me about preserving things with paper towels. So I'm going to try two methods here. I'm going to try just straight up with no paper towel and then with a paper towel and two of them to preserve the moisture. So let's proceed here. We're going to do this. I'm going to stuff this with fresh greens. Okay. And let's get each one now with the paper towels. Okay. Get these in here. Let's try a third one again with paper towel. So I was right about estimating how much I could get into each one. So you can see I got this whole big clamshell of fresh organic greens into three of these containers. The next step now is to vacuum seal it. So let's watch how this works here. I'm going to take the lids on each one. One, two, and three lids and let's give this a try now. I don't know if you can see this. So I take this hose here, I put it in a little hole at the top of the container and then I hit accessory and it's going to make a loud noise for a little bit. Voila. Okay, and here I, you can hear the suction there and you can't remove the lid now. And if you want to remove the lid, you press the button and that releases the vacuum seal. So let's proceed and do the other two and hit accessory.
perfect. Can't remove the lid, that's two. And let's get the third one done now. In goes the hose and we hit accessory once more. Three for three. So I'll keep you posted on how these last for the coming week or so. And we'll see whether there's any difference between no paper towels and the paper towels, which I used to use just in a plastic bag. So we'll see how this works. So thank you for joining me with my food preservation video. Uh, please remember to like, to share, and subscribe to my videos. Thank you, thank you so much for being with me.